I've got lots of different types of boots. I've got winter and alpine mountaineering boots. I've got boots just for trudging through Welsh and Scottish forests. I've got three season hill walking boots for diving through different parts of the really damp bits of the UK. And to be honest, they're all something of a compromise. So these boots that I'm wearing here are the Mammut Ayako High GTX. They promise to be something of, well, something of a, of a good compromise. They will apparently work as a three season hill walking boot, but also function really well when it gets steep, when the rocks come out, and when you head onto scrambling terrain. So I've been using these for about two to three months now, and I want to give you my opinion. So here's my review. Right, so these boots, I, I'm going to say from the start of the review that I really do like them. I've been using them as my main mountain walking, working with clients boot uh, since the early spring. I've done about 200 miles in them so far and I'd say that's about, I don't know, 70% rocky dry hill walking, 30% scrambling, proper graded scrambling terrain. And I think that's about right for where to pitch these boots. They're fairly high leg, they come above the ankle bone, they're not stiff, they're not crampon compatible, but they do have uh, a lateral stiffness, so they will bend front to back, but they won't twist that much side to side, particularly under the forefoot where you really want that stiffness for edging and uh, moving along the rock. They're comfortable, they feel and fit like a trainer. Um, they remind me of the Salomon boots from about 10, 15 years ago when they actually used to produce proper Alpine boots and they were very, very comfortable. They've got the same kind of build to them. They've got a memory foam thing going on uh, in the right places and the foam is distributed through the inside of the boot so that it contacts just where you want it to. So they felt fine from the first moment I put them on. They're a little bit on the tight side for the sizing, um, but I think that's just due to the last and the shape of sh shape of the boot itself and the sole unit it's built around. The lacing is great. It has got anchor points at several points uh, through the top of the forefoot and uh, where it flexes and turns into the ankle. So you can really get the heel securely uh, sat in that heel cup before you lace up the top. It does feel more like an, uh, a mountaineering boot than a hill walking boot in that respect. Uh, there's plenty of tread uh, there so it's I've never really felt insecure whilst walking across muddy ground or going from rocks to slippery grass or anything like that. It feels as secure as any other good three season hill walking boot. Once you move onto the rocks, uh, it's again very secure. Uh, there's a climbing zone part just on the sole, just on the underside of the toe, which gives you enough rubber there to smear and to edge and to just get your the edge of your foot onto small holds. I've used it uh, several times on Crib Gorch with clients and just out on my own. Uh, I've used it quite happily moving quickly over rocks. Uh, there's a very secure heel cup, it feels very stable and the way the lacing system attaches to the sole unit does help with that as well so at no point do I feel my foot is going to rotate inside the boot when I'm on steep ground. There's also a rubber toe box that uh, protects the toe so you don't really feel like you're going to bash into things and you can scramble through most obstacles quite well. So as a scrambling boot that also works very well on normal British hill walking terrain, it's a win. It's ticked all of those boxes. This being a review, there are obviously a few things I need to address and a few things I need to point out. One is that that rubber protection on the toe box doesn't quite extend around far enough. So the mesh sides on the, just under the instep and between the forefoot and the heel um, are relatively unprotected and that goes for the outside of the boot as well, although to a lesser degree. So there have been a few moments where I have felt rocks just hit the side of my foot there. These being quite light boots, there isn't a lot of protection from the fabric on its own. They're also scuffing up um, on the fabric and some of the rubber. It is showing uh, signs of use fairly quickly. But with that said, 
there's no sign of any actual physical damage that I would be concerned about. There's no stitching coming loose, there's no rubber peeling away, even at those really heavy flex points at the, uh, at the top of the toes there, where most of my boots tend to fail. So they're just showing scuffs and scratches, they're not actually degrading or falling apart, um, which they're only a couple of hundred miles into their use, but I'm fairly heavy with how I use my gear, so it's a good sign if they're still holding together now. I think I'm going to use these as my main mountain boot uh, for at least until the winter season and when the snow comes in. If you're used to an alpine boot, maybe a B1 or a B2, and you're used to scrambling in those kind of boots, uh, even in British conditions, then they might be a bit too flexible for you along the long axis. But for me, they're secure enough and I can edge in them, I can smear in them, I would feel happy jamming them into cracks every now and again, although with that lack of protection on the sides, I would have to be quite careful. Uh, I'd quite happily rock up and lead a mountain V diff in these now, um, well, in the dry at least. We've had a fairly dry spring, uh, it's been fairly warm, so I haven't really used them in cold weather or wet weather, um, but they have felt about okay for me. I haven't really experienced uh, really heavy downpours with them, although they are Gore-Tex lined all the way to the top, so or at least the top of the tongue, so they are going to be as waterproof as any other Gore-Tex lined boot. You wouldn't want to use these in winter, uh, They, I think they'll just be a bit too cold and they're not crampon compatible in any way, shape or form. If you want something that's going to work all year round, you might want to look at something else, but if you want a really good summer, as in no snow, British mountaineering, hill walking, all round a boot, then I really think this should be on your shortlist. The Mammut Ayako High GTX. I like them. Thank you for watching this review. If you have any comments on the boots or you've got any questions at all, just put them in the comments below. Uh, if you want to hear more about what we do and you want to hear more reviews like this or free tips videos or articles or opinions then you can click that subscribe button there if you like this video and you think other people might like it too then please feel free to share it but if you don't want to do any of those things and you just want to sit there and enjoy the video that's fine too thank you for watching and i'll see you again next time